Hello there folks, finally, Alina's top 10 of all time. You've been waiting for it for many, many centuries, years, whatever. I think you all want to know uh, what are Alina's favorite games because she always arg argues with me, she doesn't agree with me. So now finally it's my turn to bash all her choices. Yes, like I do that all the time. Yes. Okay. So, so. should we start with um, like your maybe small uh, description of the list or something like that? Description of the list is ultimate top tale of all time. The games are like the most. Okay, but there's actually one comment I want to tell. Okay. Um, we decided, I decided, I gave the idea to Ilya uh, that the best idea to, to make the top 10 is right before the Essen. Because it's like the, it's the most logical time because after Essen you get more games where you feel that like, oh, that actually is really good, that might get to my top 10, but I haven't played yet. So, like, the season starts with Essen. I kind of feel like that. So the best way to like end the season is with top 10. So we're doing top 10 now, Ilya as well, before Essen. Yeah, I mean, my, mine, is, mine is done already. You can yeah. go and check it out. But still, uh, it's before Essen. Yeah, I did my top 50 of all time. But yeah, before Essen, because uh, in Essen, we're going to get uh, lots of games and uh, probably around 30, 40, whatever new games. So it might change our mind, our top 10 or top 20 or whatever. So. So this is yeah. the reason I'm sitting this time in the middle. I Ilya is feel, here. Yes, I feel very uncomfortable. A decoration. Thank you very much. Because you need much. an eye candy, you know. Mm. All right, so my top 10. Yeah. Number 10 is a new game that was released this year. That was a really, really successful uh, Kickstarter campaign for us the first time. It is Scythe. Mm. Yes, um, it is quite amazing Only game. number 10. Which Why? Is, I think it's good. It's already in number okay. ten. Okay. I really like the games that give you epic feel. That you know you play An eight, nine hours, and you have this feel of wow, that was something. But these are usually four X games, and I suck at them. I, I'm really terrible in strategy games. Yeah, your epic fail at, at these games. Ilya no. still feels that he needs to speak a lot. Yes. But the side gives that feeling without being extremely uh, complicated, strategic, strategical 4X game. This is the reason I really love uh, Scythe. It is uh, engine building, but you don't have a runaway leader, which is often to, for, to engine building games. This game doesn't have that problem. So, yeah, well, I can talk a lot about the game. So, what do you think about my pick? <laughs> uh, let me find my name. Uh, let, let, let me say that uh, it's uh, w very low. Because uh, why? Why there are nine more games that are better than Scythe? How many, That's my big How question. many games do you have that were better than Scythe? Um, I will not spoil it. Oh, spoil! You had it already. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Plus. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my number nine is a game that has been already in my top ten. I think it's now higher. I didn't compare to last year, and it is a game that Ilya doesn't really want to play with me. No. Do you know what's that? It's an economic game. It's uh, there are two choices. I know, but do you know which one? Okay, fine. So this is a city building game. It's suburbia. Um, I like this game because, of course, obviously, it's building. So, games about building, city building, or whatever building are usually fun. And this one is economical. Ilya likes them as well. Ilya doesn't like economical games, though. Economic, and, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. No, nothing. Yeah, okay. no. So, I really like Suburbia because it is really, really thematic. The way you put the tiles, the way the logic, how they interact is, is actually really there. It, that, it's the way it would work in real life. So you can't put, I don't know, like a wasteland next to a school that wouldn't benefit you in any way. And like making some airport will bring you, I don't know, for example, let's, uh, let's say that um, income, but building in next to a living area 
will make people unhappy. So, and this game, it, it makes everything makes sense, but it is hard to get there. You always, you pretty much always lack money, constantly. It's it. You never have enough of it. And the more you, you the more you build, the more you proceed, the harder it gets to balance um, reputation and income. And that is fun in this game. I I suck at this game quite a lot as well, but it's still it's so much fun. I really do enjoy that. Ilya should play it more. Hmm. Yeah, to be you should play it more because you're now much more fine with the economical games. Yeah, e with economic games, yeah. Economic. Um, economic? Yeah, um, I would say that uh, I'm fine with some of them, but depends on the level of complexity. Um, so, let, I'll be honest, Sub Suburbia is a solid title and um, I would even play it rarely. But it just something doesn't click with me. Mm. And the art, it, this game is ugly. This game is just ugly, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not so pretty. dry. It's, it's so dry pretty, yeah. when you look at it, I and that takes away from my that takes away from uh, from my desire to play this game. And Castle of Mackin Glovic is much better. Like in my yeah, in my opinion, because in like basically because of the castle of Mackin Glovic, so it has it replaced uh, suburbia for me. I like building up a crazy you castle with all the restrictions. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't like the restrictions that much as well in the suburbia. But that's me, I know. It's, it's yeah, just you just don't... I don't think you have ever really liked suburbia, so you can't really tell it's replaced. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think I would, uh, I would play suburbia more if not for castles. I can't compare bit. them like that. It's not like if I feel that I want to play economical game or something, I would choose suburbia because I feel it's more like eco economic game or economical economic game, right? Economic, economic game. Like thematic. But if I want to play, for example, uh, Castle of Mountain Glue, it would be more like fun building games. So I choose them with a different mood. So I, for me, there's just I can't really compare them by the feel of the game, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. gameplay feel. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Yeah. So, regarding the economy games, uh, Happy Peaks and Stockpile are rather easy. They feel easy and they are like, they're different. Yes, but uh, I'm not into economy Suburbia games still. is much more thematic. Yeah, I, 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 I can know. see that. That's, yeah. that's basically what, what, that is, what... That gives so much fun to me. Like you, you told that I, I like economic games more, but these are rather lighter. So yeah, and let's hope for the ground floor. Yep. Yep, yep, high expectations, high hopes. Your number eight? My number eight is a new uh, game in this list. We got it this year. Uh, I think it was released earlier, but we got it this year. And it is Garden Dice. Mm, okay. Are you surprised? Uh, Garden Dice is in number, like, number eight. Number eight. I'm not sure. Um, I was surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, I think. I was surprised myself, actually, I really was. That would be your top 10. Um, I was like quite sure that would be your top 10. Really? Because you, you, you just love, you, you constantly, you, you, all the time you think about and you want to play Card and Dice, you want, yep. she wants to review it, we just sure. cannot get people to play it. Yeah, we want to play one more time, at least one more time with uh, three or four players. Yeah, two players is not as good. It's, yeah, it's not fun. It's so, not yeah. as fun. So, yeah, um, we got really intrigued when I first saw a review of it by, I think it was Game Boy Geek, when I got really, I got intrigued, I got mm -hmm. clicked because it, it looks more like uh, just a random dice game for kids maybe. But I really, I tend to enjoy games where is really good balance of luck and what you do with the luck you got. You got. So mm -hmm. you roll the dice and now you f have to figure out what can you do. So it's not like a pure uh, luck based game. You can um, manipulate dice if you want, if you have a certain mm -hmm. uh, tile <clears throat> on the board. So you can mitigate it quite a lot, but still, it's still basically roll dice and you see what you can do with that. And I tend to like it. And in my opinion, Garden Dice does that part really, really, really well. And this is the main thing I would say about the game. Yeah, I think the uh, caveat that people might have with the game is are the dice. Because you roll and you can get the rolls that you don't really need. And it's basically... I get frustrated if, 
someone like the roles are constantly rolls really, really, really well, and I can't, I roll just mm. like random, like like you should not roll. I think just yeah. take it easy and uh, think of it as just an element of random that you might enjoy if you yeah. take it as something light. Yeah. Yeah, and this game is quite quite involved. It's, this game is a Euro type. There is a lot of thinking. Yeah. And with the expansion, it mm. adds. I wouldn't say that expansion adds a lot. Not a I lot. I think I would be quite fine. Adds the spice without. For me, at least. I don't mm. know. Yeah. Yeah. Garden dice was somewhere Garden in my dice top fifty. Garden dice with two mm. players is pretty much solitaire multiplayer. At least can be. But mm -hmm. if it's three, four people, then you get involved quite a lot. It's not a conflictional game, but it's still it quite a lot depends what's on the on the board because the garden is same for everybody, and you can try. To fit somewhere so that you would be part of the chain reaction or or, or stuff like that. So, I yeah, chain reactions are cool, yeah. and if there are more players, then more chain reactions are cool. Yeah. Plus, the randomness of dice might put you in different corners. I think you want to be to like even with two players. I want it uh, to be like on your side, uh -huh. but just yeah. my dice were yeah. something else. You know? Yeah, we started close. Yeah, we started like together yeah. in the same corner. And then but we ended up in separate corners. Because of the dice. Yeah. I rolled high, you rolled low, yeah. basically all the time. Ilya, no, I rolled, I rolled like, like yeah, regularly. Yeah. But like basically you can, see our, you can see our play yeah. for a bit. We uh, have a play how Ilya for. rolls five and six constantly, so yeah. yeah. I got frustrated there for a second, so for a moment. It, yeah, well, okay. It's a really cool pick and uh, okay. I was expecting it at some point in your top ten. So, Thank you. your number seven? Number seven. My number seven is, um, I think lots of people know this, quite um, unlogical small game that I for some reason absolutely crazily love. Mm -hmm. And it is Flip City. Flip City yeah. yeah. Um, it's, I can't even explain that myself. I really cannot explain why I so madly love this small card game. This is basically deck building game, um, but the cards are two sided. So it's, uh, and you can like flip them, pay the cost, upgrade and flip them to other side. Other side is always a little bit better than the previous. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite a lot the um, push a luck element in it as well, because when you take the cards out, you can like draw as many cards as you want, but when you get three uh, frowny faces, you discard all the cards and you don't get anything at all. Your turn uh, is busted. Yes, yeah. and this game is the one that really, I have this good tension in the game. So I have that excitement building up, uh, what I really do like. And there's one more thing, usually push a luck games are doing a little bit well with people who are, who are better at taking risks. Mm -hmm. I am a re player who I don't like risks. I'm Just really, at your coffee, oh, really yeah. um, I am really cautious player. Yeah. I don't like taking risks, and this game I do that quite a lot as well. But I still I have exactly the same chance to win than Ilya, and actually, yeah. I think I usually even win a bit more. In ah, uh, yeah, Ilya, Ilya won once only. Twice. I didn't play with you second time. That doesn't yeah. matter. Um, um, the, yeah, with the flip seat, the things, I think that I, Alina would like more push like, luck uh, like she likes the push luck elements. Yeah, if and there I are elements in the game. Yes, but on the other hand, I think you, you would like the other games with the push luck elements. That's why, yeah. for example, when we go to Essen, I want to show you Di Diamond or something like that. Or mm. ink, it's basically like ink and gold. Yeah. I want to show you more and Celeste is a push luck game. So I, 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 don't I want think... you to try them. Yeah, fine. You sure. might, we have, we you might like them more. a lot. We have a few more of them. Yeah, but yeah. Kanagawa should be as well with Pushalak. Yes, that might be that might be true. I want to see how you how you feel about different yeah. Pushalak uh, games. I don't think I, want I would be them. fine if not whole like Port Royal. I mean, yeah. He hold the game is built mm -hmm. over that only one element. I don't think I would enjoy that, would... but I'm still kind of okay with it. Yeah. So I was thinking that Flip City would be uh, even higher on your list. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you just love this game, you constantly think about this game. Yes. When you go to, we have the review of this game as well. But so. at the end, it's a small card game with, let's say, two mechanics or something like that. It can't be that high on the list. Why not? But I really think that for for Flip City to be number seven, right? Yeah, yeah, number it's, seven it's, it's is really, high. really high. 
because of like around 300 games that we have played, then top 10 is a really good. Yeah. Uh, like, it's, it's these are basically the games that are. Flip really, City really has a funny reaction in me. Whenever I go to the shop and see it, we don't have them in Estonia, but when when I uh, like go to Finland or or Sweden, whenever I feel it on the shelf, I have a reaction. It's like to grab it and buy it. Again, if you have it, and open. again, I don't know why. And I like the cards. They feel like a slightly plasticky thing. I don't know. The card quality yeah, is so good. They are really good, good quality. Yeah, you, and they're pretty. And oh. we don't use sleeves on, on these cards because you, yeah. uh, you shuffle constantly. You shuffle all the time. We, it's deck building. Yes, we sleeve kind of all uh, deck builders where you have to sh shuffle a lot, like where mm -hmm. you have to constantly shuffle. But this game doesn't. Even though that. I don't want to shuffle anymore or anything. Uh, sorry, shuffle, sleeve. <laughs> you know, doesn't sleeve. want to shuffle games. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to shuffle in games, no. <laughs> All right, let's go. Because I hate shuffling. Da, 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 da. Number six. Number six, yes. Number six, I think, I think this game, it's an old, older title. Alina Fanks. And I think, <laughs> I think, Ooh. think oh. that it can be a small surprise to you. And it is Merchants and Marauders. Yes. I would be, yes. That, that's that's a surprise for me because I, I wouldn't so. think that would be so high on your list because we haven't yeah. played it in a while. Yeah, we haven't played it in a while. That's a big true. one. Uh, the second, you know, like, unlogical thing about the game, it is co complex, quite a complex game, which we usually don't tend to like. But I love it. This game, few aspects. First is that you can choose. In the very beginning, do you want to be a merchant or you want to try and be a, become a pirate? So it's starting with that only, like starting with that tiny fact only, it can already become really good. I forgot the words. Uh, replay its high replayability because of that. I always, always start as a merchant first because I'm a cautious player. I don't like mm -hmm. risks. But second, I can't get enough of that pick up and delivery aspect. This was the first game that that showed that this can be fun. Pick up and delivery. Yes. Mechanic, yeah. yeah. Uh, second thing, the combat system is complex, really complex. Maybe a little bit fiddly. too complicated. Maybe slightly fiddly, but it is so fun and thematic that I enjoy watching other people battle. Mm -hmm. um, I really I get. A board in this game only only case when I get bored if I want to move so I for example spend my turn moving quickly and then I wait again for mm -hmm. someone else to battle mm -hmm. but these are rather rare occasions third thing in the game I really enjoy this is the one thing I remember so clearly I was playing as a merchant and I got stuck in the port where whereas like the um, uh, the pirate ship, which was like like a ah, non-player, okay, like non-player NPC, NPC yes, pirate NPC ship pirate was, ship was, was there, was there and blocking my you. way. Yes, so it would never go away. So I had to get out, but to get out and not to lose everything in the battle, I had to upgrade the ship. When I upgraded the ship and went out, yes, I won the battle and I got out, but I had zero money. I had to become a pirate. So the game forced me into this situation. Uh, that was so different. That was so amazing. Mm -hmm. I really can like, like close my eyes on that fiddliness. It is so damn fun game. The way you have storms, the way you have sometimes battles mm -hmm. when you don't want to go to some other ports because these countries the right now are at a war. Not big. Huh? The storms will come in the expansion. We well, haven't played the expansion. Okay, fine. But the war still, yeah, yeah, it's fun. War, yeah. You have to like, you have to keep in mind, for example, that these two countries are at war. So if you are from this country, you don't, you can't go to that port currently. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It's it's an amazing game. We should play it with the expansion, yeah. and we should find the time because basically it's 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 a, it's a really cool game. It's amazing. quite high in my top fifty as well. So uh, I don't remember what was the was in my top. Probably it was in my top twenty, I think. So it's quite high as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a yes, cool that's, pick. That's the thing. Like we haven't played it 
really in a really long time but i mm-hmm. like the, the emotions of those places even when i'm just a merchant are so yeah i have i have the emotions as well and uh, i mean <laughs> I have the emotions as well. I'm not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a robot. Uh, no, um, the, the thing is that, like a dry German robot. Oh. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly. No, no, um, the thing with the Merchant Marauders is that, yeah, we haven't played it in a while. Um, it was in my top 10 for a long time, mm-hmm. but then it got pushed out with the other games with, where, where I have a more fresh experience of them yes and really big experience as well so it's we it's hard to compare to, yeah, it's hard to compare. tend to forget the games that are amazing but we haven't played in a long time so my number five uh, number is a five. game that was in last year as well but it's it is getting a bit higher now I believe I have compared them I should compare them okay uh, my number five is a game by Bruno Cathala and it's Abyss number five it is the world's most beautiful game ever created ever 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 Mm, something came there, Sorry. but doesn't really matter. Yes. Uh, this game is, for me, it's a perfect lazy evening game. Mm-hmm. You don't have to think a lot there. It is elegant game where you can just... It's a little bit push luck as well. It has bidding, it has set collection. Yeah, it has push luck element in there. Yeah, it's tiny though. Yeah, but I uh, think it's no, it's not as I tiny because basically. I've ever told that I don't like this uh, mechanic. No, no, but uh, I think I just feel I didn't. I didn't talk about like you don't like the push lock mechanic. Yeah, you wanted I, to I introduce just, me I more just, to that. For yes, some I just wanted yeah some more push lock games. I'm feeling like I'm, I want I'm to try like them more like Celestia. You don't want to try Celestia. You do want to try Ink and Gold or Diamond. Not for not for the reason this okay. push luck. Okay. But these are pure push like games. Yeah. We should try them still. But yeah, Abyss. Abyss without an expansion is exactly what I explained. If you add an expansion, it beca- it it you don't ha- you still don't have to think much more. It's still a relaxed game, but you have to you have to think more. There are more things in it. You, there what? are black. You don't have to think more, but you have to think more. What? <laughs> anyway, doesn't that complexity Read that much? between the lines, please. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So it becomes much Feel more gamery. Feeling. It yeah. becomes much more gamer's game with expansion. And the Black Pearls, um, first I thought like, yeah, you, you can decide if you, could, if you want to take them because they're like, like a corruption. If you want to take them, uh, you can decide not to take them. No, it's not like that. You can just you can just randomly get them, and it's not so easy to get rid of them. It's not like you you just decide or make an action to get rid of it. No, it's not like that. So this aspect is really really fun. Um, it definitely made higher on the list, mm-hmm. higher than it would maybe be. But I think at some point you just you take them anyway. Because uh, basically, you, you get them by getting the allies, which are the multicolor, something like that. But you can decide not to take them. I don't remember how it was. Yeah, yeah, no, it's when you like explore mm-hmm. the, the, first, the first row, push your like, element. When you explore, you want to get the allies. Mm-hmm. At some point, you, you would really need them. Otherwise, you will be left behind by your, by your opponents. You st- I think even once in a game, you will still grab at least one of these cards because they are so powerful. And but the other no, thing, yeah, you get them no by... There's no point not getting them because you will get them either way. Yeah. So, either way. You just don't get uh, the most of them. Yeah. And then, then you'll be safe. Uh, with no extra, extra five, minus five points. Yeah, this is a really cool uh, pick. Number five, it's quite high. Uh, with the expansion, it's a little bit better. It doesn't add much complexity, although, yeah, you need to think a little bit more. And it adds another push like element aspect there with the treasures. When oh, you, yeah. When you get the location, oh, yeah. treasure location, then you go into the treasure pile and then you flip the cards over. You don't, and you flip them over until you uh, bust by getting uh, the same number. Mm-hmm. But before that, you can sober now. Yeah, and yeah. The, f- the thing is there, like, for example, you want to get like a lot of points. Basically, you can get seven points there or just like three points. Uh, the thing is that there are more cards of a uh, higher number, as I remember, something like that. Mm-hmm. The higher number of cards are, are more in the deck. So, which means that 
there is a higher chance that if you pull out seven, you will pull out the another seven yeah. again, which means you're busted and you right. don't get anything. Which is really, I, I, I like this push like element there. It, it adds a little bit of spice inside the game. And yeah, gorgeous game. It is. Gorgeous game. It is. We want to get the player mat now. At least I want to get the player no, no, mats. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine with that, yeah. I don't know I why. I usually just it's... don't really like player mats, but yeah, sure. Like I don't if know they why. have practical. Yeah, sure. I want to get player mats. Okay. Yeah, we're You're... getting player mat in Essen. We are getting. So, number four. Four. Yeah. My number four is the game that I think has always been in my top 10 and will be there for quite a long time yet. It's the game we don't need to play often, but... Panamax. No? Number four? Yes. No. Panamax, no. Okay, okay, no. It's no, Rise no, and it's... Mystics. All oh, right, all right. Yes, yeah. it is slightly higher. It might even like, go a bit higher as well. It's but only I, number four. I'm quite sure that it's going to stay in the top ten for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Again, because of the emotion and stories you get out of the game. The mechanics are really, really simple. Uh, there might be some rather fiddly additional tiny rules, but these are the ones that create the story. For example, we had a situation, I usually like to play with Inez. He's really slow, he's really strong, but he's slow. And he was the only one who, who, had, who was able to get us out from one particular tile like that we were. Pipe tiles. Okay. Yes, and we had to jump there up there to get but as I'm slow it was so hard for me to jump so we ended up two mice ended up going back putting the fork down uh, throwing was it, was it spoon a sp yeah spoon sorry uh, putting spoon down putting me on the spoon because only t two mice can do that not not one putting me on the spoon uh, throwing me up on the wall where I had to go Picking up the spoon and getting there. Yeah, and it's not the dexterity game, it's all like yes. done mechanically, yeah. but... Yeah, but still there's so many like tiny details that create the story, like like the small things that you are going to remember. And I really mm -hmm. find that it's it's created so fun, it's so story... Although the story is written for you, you still feel that you're creating that story. Mm -hmm. And even if we're not, um, we have the first game, we have two expansions, we have only played the first game, we haven't get even to the first expansion. But still, if we won't even play the game in next couple of years, it's perfect game that I'm going to keep until our kids get older and we can play all together. Mm -hmm. the game. I think it's one of our, to be honest, uh, now, I was now thinking about many games that we have right now still in our collection. Mm -hmm. And how many times have we played them? Because we started recording uh, plays only from 2015. Yeah. Which means that before that we didn't record any plays and we don't really know. Mm -hmm. the, and My Mystics uh, was purchased by us in 2013 or something like that, a long yeah. time ago. So which means that uh, when I realized how many times we played My Mystics, it was really cool. Because yeah. we played it, I don't know, it's one of our most played games, bigger, mm -hmm. I mean, most yeah. played bigger games. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the ones who, which take more than an hour. I think we played it around 20 or 25 yeah, yeah, times, which is a lot for us, because yeah. we constantly change games. Yeah. This shelf constantly changes. New games come in, we play them two times and then we throw them away. So in uh, from the roof, like Tom Vassell, and then in the garbage can and then... Pff, no. You're so funny. I'm not, I know. Sorry. Today, my jokes are rather not funny but yeah uh, no i'm kidding but yeah, yeah. Uh, my mystics is one of our most played games yeah. which is really cool and this is a game we're complete it's kind of like for us we ended up liking to play it just two of us or it's our family game it's our yeah two player game so your number three my number three let me check it my number three is blood rage mm. yes it got to top that's 10. a surprise Really? Yeah, it's it's very high for you. Yeah. I, I would like it's it's more of my type of a game rather it than is, yours. It is. It's definitely more Ilya type of game than mine. But I still enjoy it quite a lot. I enjoy it because of so high it's it's easy game. You, not complex everything game. is yes, it's not complex game. It it really looks like that. 
it's easy game, uh, it's easy to understand, easy to grab, you don't make decisions long. You rarely ever have to think anywhere long time. It's more like quick, like turn, 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 Except turn. Except drafting maybe may, may take a little bit of that thinking. But still, it's more like a first time, but later yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. when you get used to the cards. And when you, have you know the cards, yeah. Time, yeah. But still, it's only like one part. Mm -hmm. uh, in the game, you don't have big wars. You have small... I don't like war games. Mm -hmm. I don't like the ones where you have to attack and if you lose then you have to you know you're again weak and you have to build up and takes time i don't like this kind of games mm -hmm. i'm fine with the combat games where you attack you lose you build up again it's like quick faster yeah so, faster for that up, okay. uh, reason kemet is fine with me and blood rage is a good example it's actually sometimes even good to lose or at least you don't lose that much because you get points from the dead Vikings, dead people. You, you get points when you release them from Valhalla if you have a particular card. I think you always get something, at least no, something. No. Uh -uh. When you when you only when you get the card. Really? Yes. I thought it was a lucky always. card. Okay. Yeah. In that in that case, I mean, it means that I usually have that card. And the, the one more thing is that uh, the free replay value of this game is high because you really can choose different strategies in the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Um, I try a couple of them and the first time I really feel that I want to try heavy attacking strategy, which is completely not me. It's like so much not me, like me and attacking, no, I usually defend. But I really want that. Want to try that strategy. And the game makes me go out of my comfort zone and do something different and fun, it's, it's quite an achievement for the game. It's quite an achievement, so... Yeah. That's a really nice Blood pick. Rage is an amazing game. It is yeah, it's, game, it's a great game, yeah. It is game to play with non-gamers even, who are who you know that are kind, who would be fine with them. So we have gamers, we have friends who are not gamers, but who would play that and mm. enjoy that because mm. it's not a complex game. It's mm. rather easy. So, yeah. Oh, yeah Your yes, number two? Well, well, so my number two is Archipelago. I don't think it's any surprise at all. Uh, it has been in my... What about this one? Yeah, it's not on top 10 this time. Finally, yes! Okay, uh, sorry. Mia wants to get rid of the game. I do like it. But yeah, it's not in top 10. Okay, Archipelago. Archipelago uh, is a game... It's... I'll, I think I can say it's a 3x game. It is, again, the yeah. rather big complexity on a complex side um, game where you have to build up your not an empire but well all kind of empire still and i like how, in this game i like how s slow and painful it is mm -hmm. because like when you actually are going to you go to different country you have, like different land you don't know you you have no idea what's there you have to build from the zero from the first mm -hmm. people who came went off the ship and i i do enjoy that i do enjoy how how slow and painful it is because it is the way you build civilization and it's really thematical as well the way i like at least that thematical part when you go to discover you may fail actually completely and not discover anything at all. It depends a lot how you pick the tiles and, and what's on a side, if you can like fit there because you have to fit on mm -hmm. the part where at least some of the meeples are because it makes sense, right? Yeah. You explore with Sometimes you want to risk, you want to go with... You, you see that the upper tile fits mm -hmm. what you can put in, in there where you explore, but you see like, oh, the resources that are there are the ones that I do not need right now. I want. I need another resource. Should I risk? So you take the lower tile, yep. and then you risk, and then you might not explore it. Right. Um, That's really cool. There was one more thing. Uh, oh yeah, the game is tight. It's really tight. Mm -hmm. um, you might feel within the game that oh my god, I am losing. I am so so bad. But actually, if the game ends and you start counting the points, you might be actually in second place, or, or even the first, or even the first because. You, the way you score is slightly different, uh, the way mm -hmm. you score is 
The scoring conditions are scoring are conditions hidden. are one is public yes. and one is hidden for each player for, you, for each player, but you score all of them. So, which makes it more uh, complicated. Uh, it's good for you to try to understand what other people people are trying to do, but still, like regarding points, it's, it's always tight. Mm -hmm. Because you don't get points like 12, 20, 25, 30, 50. It's more like 6, 7, 8, 10. And for that reason, these are really close usually. Oh, not usually, always. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a wonderful really, pick. Really, really it was uh, in my top 10 as well. So, your uh, number one. My let, number one. Let me <coughs> think. Number Iliaka, one. Iliak, you can tell. Everybody yeah. knows that. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that, that it's a Cyclades. Yes. Cyclades. Top one game is Cyclades. It's not going anywhere from the first place for... A decade at least. From quite some time yet. Yes. It is absolutely amazing game. It gives you, again, it gives you quite an epic feel, but it's short. It is rather short game. If you put all kind of expansions and modules in, it, it can be complex game. I mean, there will be lots of things there, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not a hard game. It's not hard to understand what you need to do there. Smooth. Yes, it's smooth. I like how different it is from any other game. The way you want to um, attack or conquer some other places, it's really, it's pretty much impossible to do that secretly or for others unexpectedly, because first you need to build up the um, chain in ships and only the, and you can't do that in the same round. And next round you have to bid on RS to be able mm -hmm. to move there. But you can do it unexpectedly. If somebody doesn't know how much money you have and what is your strategy, you can pull up, pull out uh, Pegasus from yes, the discard pile. That's and exactly <laughs> what I mean. It's nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. Nearly. Not completely impossible. Mm -hmm. It's nearly impossible. Because it's, it's rather luck to have cards at the same time, have enough coins, uh, be ready to attack and yeah. So it's quite a combination that you have to have at the same time. Yeah. Should, so, we agree that, should we agree that uh, Cyclades with Cyclades uh, Hades, which is the first expansion, is better than with the Titans? That was my idea originally. Yeah, but, uh, but, but then I, I said in my top I don't well. like Cyclades with Titan expansions. I still want to try Team Variant, but I don't like Titan's expansion because Cyclades is what? It's like a place with lots of yeah. tiny islands, but Titans make it a couple of islands. It's all the losing No, Titans theme. make it as a one, whole, one big... Oh was, yeah, there I are some smaller couple, ones yeah, as well, but the, everything, the, everything uh, is on the big, big Yes, that's the thing. Lands. It's already losing this. And then uh, the second thing, there are Titans who make it easier to attack and attack at the same turn and attack unexpectedly, which makes the game much more combat regular. Okay. Regular, yeah. Much I don't more know, I want to try the Titans more. Much more like typical game. But what I really, really like in Cyclades is what it's really unique. It's like super unique the way you have to really plan ahead. And but the met metropolises which are different and the magical items which are like small statues are things mm. that you can carry with you in yeah. the Titans expansion. These are awesome. Yes, I would add these, these modules. Awesome. I, I'm completely fine. And I want to try... But you cannot add them with I want to titans. play the Hardest God module more. Okay. We'll because try. I do like we'll that it. a lot. So, And this is the game, one more thing, where you have many ways to get to win, to get those two metropolis. So the winning condition is still the same. You have to have two metropolises. But the ways you get them, there are many mm -hmm. different. And it is so easy if you have more than, let's say, let's say more than three people. Three yeah, people four, is four, easy because it's like two opponents you have to, che to, have to look after. To check, yeah. But if you have four players, it's already hard. And it's so easy to win unexpectedly. To so like, ha! Yeah, the four philosopher or, yeah. or just, no, I'm taking the Pegasus and attacking your second metropolis and I won. Yeah. And oh, this is the game where you always have, if you're getting close to it, you always have that, you know, like tension, you get even mm -hmm. a little bit, you know, sweaty, good tension. Yeah, if somebody gets the first metropolis, you're already like, oh, this game might end soon. Let's all grab our swords and go and kill that guy. if you are, guy. I really do. If I'm getting close to win, I win in this game, I think rather 
a lot as well, more than Ilya. And I always have that tension, tension and little sweaty. I hope no one will see. I hope no one will notice that I'm so close. Yeah, yeah, oh, the, the same I'm tension saying. I had with Kemet recently. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. These games give give this tension. Yeah. Because when you're close, on the other hand, not all will see that, and you know. And the way it's uh, balanced, oh, I can take, talk a lot about the game. So yeah. So that was your. My top ten. Your top ten, your ultimate top ten. Finally, you made it. I still video. Have, It was I quite still... long video as well. Yeah. Really long, but. On because the other hand, Ilya felt that he has to talk a lot. Not why not. No, it's fine. I want to argue, I want to just make fun of your picks and of you as well. So I'm, I, I told you that I'm going to do all the, all the things to you as well. Bashing. Bashing. I yes. did not bash your games. So, but uh, if you are... Um, do you want to say comments regarding my overall top 10? Uh, comments? Uh, I was a little bit surprising with a few games there, but overall, uh, these are the games that we both uh, like uh, quite much, mm. except like, I mean, few picks. Mm. But uh, I, I don't think, like, there are games like, for example, the Panamax. Panamax is the one I would, I would, I would <coughs> probably expect to, to be on your list, and Five Tribes. Mm -hmm. But I'm not about the Five Tribes sure about close and Panamax are really close. I know, I know that you love Gold West and Scoville and such, and Gold West would have been in your Gold top West ten, was, I think, was Gold shortlist, really, yeah. Really, yeah, shortlist. Yeah, I think everything else is like above and below is, is really high in your Short, top yes. ten of right, 2015 as well. As well. But see. I think they're all like a little bit... I, I, would, I would put like... I would have expected Gold West, Five Tribes and uh, Panamax on your top uh, ten. Catacombs was really, really close as well. Oh yeah, I forgot the Catacombs, mm -hmm. yeah. You and love, actually, love castles well. might include as well. Mm, okay. And have yeah, and time, time stories. Yeah, but that yeah, the, the sure. time stories wasn't on your that's uh, top ten. Top. That, that's uh, sorry. The games I mentioned should be like top twenty, making all together. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. So yeah, uh, that was Alina's uh, top ten of all time. If you have any comments, concerns of that, comment on her picks, uh, yeah. bash her or or bash me for bashing her so um i prefer or for question. my bad bad jokes and um definitely want to hear your opinions about that so please do yeah yeah and of course subscribe to our channel uh, share our channel um go to twitter instagram and such all the links are in the description below and uh, check out even my top 10 as well before essen and then when the essen comes we're gonna tweet we're gonna do the instagram probably uh, then we're uh, going to record lots of videos and after SM we're going to put out a lot of content. This might probably be the last video that you see before Essen. Before Essen. Maybe. So, and then there will be more videos after Essen. So, yeah, because it's getting really busy. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Alina as well. We'll do like that. Mwah. She's my wife, by the way. See you next time. Bye-bye.